and Maddox big increase essentially from the Corona crash was 44,000%, right? So uh, about mm, two and a half times more than Cardano, but let's say you were to get it here around eh, two cents, right? And it comes up and you maybe take profits around this area here. It's still a 9,000% increase. So two to three X, you know, better than Cardano. The only difference here is this was Maddox's first move, right? And it wasn't Cardano's first move, right? So the newer coins are obviously going to have more volatility. So we do see more volatility here as well over the last few weeks on Card or on Matic, Polygon, um, whereas on Cardano, we have not, right? So Cardano is kind of a little bit of a sleeping giant right now. And Maddox already making its move. So Matic, we're kind of waiting for that pullback scenario. So that's what's going on in the charts with both Matic and Cardano. Let's see what's happening a little bit more on the fundamental side, right? So um, we'll take a look at a few articles here and a few news bits. But um, basically, um, Polygon, aka Matic, right, has had a few updates recently. Um, you do see networks um, like Harmony One, right? We have um, the DeFi Kingdoms, right, which is looking to move um, some of what it's done on Harmony One, right, over to Matic. Obviously, they've already moved some of it over to Avalanche, right? But you start seeing projects which are interested at coming over onto Matic. And the reason is, right, for this uh, ZK EVM, essentially, it's going to piggyback on Ethereum, right? So Matic Polygon essentially will be the layer two for Ethereum or one of them, right? Ethereum has multiple layer twos, um, including Optimism. Um, but they're going to basically um, make Ethereum faster and not uh, muck up the chain. Essentially, Ethereum will be able to scale a little bit better while at the same time, right? The chain itself does not change. So let's read a little bit about this, right? Polygon has announced that their uh, ZK EVM source code has uh, been open sourced and will go live on the testnet shortly. According to Polygon co-founder, um, they said uh, these three teams, Hermes, Zero, and Maiden contributed to the development. Um, Polygon's uh, ZK EVM is considered EVM equivalent, meaning that the existing Ethereum infrastructure and tooling are compatible with uh, the ZK EVM. So basically anything on Matic is compatible with anything on Ethereum. Um, developers will be able to have the same experience on Polygon as they're used to on Ethereum mainnet, right? So that's pretty nice, right? So Matic is pretty much positioning itself as a friendly to the Ethereum network. And so if Ethereum sees this as useful and uses this, um, or a lot of projects do, which it looks like we already got DeFi Kingdoms as well as other projects, right? That look interested in it, right? It's going to improve um, other chains. So, you know, this kind of interoperability or um, just communication between chains is really what's going to kind of open up the crypto space over the next few years. Cause you really do have a lot of this tribalism between different infrastructure pieces here in crypto. But when they start working together and, you know, helping each other, it's kind of like when there's a few countries in the world who maybe haven't done business before, all of a sudden they start doing business and trade together. All of a sudden things become much more friendly, right? And so they're tying a lot of economics together here, which is interesting. So let's take a look at this article in detail because I think it provides a nice overlook here. Um, so here's how the Polygon ZK EVM increases transaction speed and reduces fees on Ethereum by 90%. And as we saw here, right? Basically, the experience on Polygon is the same, essentially, or uh, as Ethereum mainnet. So Polygon has launched the first Ethereum equivalent scaling solution, Polygon ZK EVM, uh, capable of reducing the fees on Ethereum by 90%, while also increasing transaction speeds. It is a layer two scaling solution that gives both the scalability benefits of ZK proofs and compatibility with the uh, Ethereum virtual machine. So just note there, right, uh, ZK proofs, because uh, this is something that we were talking about back in November, right, uh, into the end of the year as something to pay attention to, which could provide um, 
essentially scaling solutions for Ethereum. And then now we see it pop up here on Polygon. Um, basically, some of the rumors were that we would see uh, ZK proofs improve Ethereum's um, scalability, essentially, um, around May of this year. So a couple months difference, but interesting to kind of see um, that starting to be implemented and implemented through Polygon. So with the announcement, um, obviously the prices have shifted, whatever. Um, Polygon launches zero knowledge uh, Ethereum virtual machines. So let's we'll take a look at some of what they have to say. Uh, at the Ethereum community conference in Paris on July 20th, Polygon announced its layer two scaling solution, Polygon ZK EVM. ZK EVM is fully compatible with existing smart contracts, developer tools, wallets on Ethereum, uh, using advanced cryptography called zero, zero knowledge proofs. Um, so yeah, we already mentioned that Polygon estimates ZK EVM reduces fees by 90% uh, on Ethereum's layer one chain. Polygon's new layer two scaling solution uses zero knowledge rollups to batch transactions and confirm them on the Ethereum mainnet, uh, inheriting the security de uh, and decentralizations of Ethereum. It is powered by uh, those three technologies, as we mentioned, Hermes, Zero, and Mited. Um, Polygon's co-founder, uh, Sandeep, believes that uh, the ZK EVM makes Ethereum almost technically or theoretic theoretically infinitely scalable. Now, I think that's a bit of a stretch, but you know what they're trying to say here. Um, so the co-founder of Polygon Hermes said, uh, many believe that a ZK EVM was still years away or not practical, practical or competitive. So no one believed in us, but Polygon did, right? So they're trying to do things here with Ethereum scaling and some interoperability here that um, right, a lot of people didn't think was going to be successful. So it's good to see uh, a project that is plugging away, continue to build things um, no matter where the market's at, right? And and basically starting to have some success and, and a lot of traction here, right? So let's take a, a look at this versus uh, optimist, uh, Optimism and Arbitrum. Um, so the, there's a problem, basically problem with ZK proofs, uh, proofs rollups like Optimistic and Arbitrum or Optimism and Arbitrum. Uh, ZK proofs have been a promising technology for Ethereum. However, it is slow and expensive to generate and not suitable to improve Ethereum scale, uh, uh, scalability, some say. Moreover, there are also compatibility issues related to code deployed on Ethereum, whereas, so this is just normal ZK proofs, right? Um, whereas the ZK EVM is permissionless, open source, and for the Ethereum community, combining, combining both ZK proofs and Ethereum virtual machine is um, what they think is a very per, you know, very good layer two scaling solution to achieve a cheaper, faster way to use Ethereum without sacrificing security or decentralization for users and developers. So that's positive. It means that the ZK EVM supports programming language, languages such as Solidity and tools like MetaMask, Hardhat, Truffle, Remix, et cetera. And Polygon has released part of the source code, right? Um, and its roadmap for the ZK EVM and its public testnet will be available in Q3 and the mainnet will be available in early 2023. So I think this is extremely bullish for Matic just in general. So if we do see something right here, like a, a bounce up maybe towards a dollar 40 or so, right? And then we get some bounce in this area before we come back down and test these lows again right, potentially towards the end of the year, maybe November or so, right? And then um, leading into a potential uptrend from there, um, we have uh, basically the news here um, in early 2023 that could potentially, so that could potentially continue moving this um, trend up, right? So might get a nice bounce here in Q3, revisit lows. So essentially, what I'm thinking for Matic is if we do get a nice breakout here over the next one to two weeks, right? Use that breakout to drum up some cash, let it come up. And then after the dump happens, if we come back down towards this 40 cent area, you know, that's going to be a very nice area to scoop up some Matic again. So that's just what's happening a little bit on Matic. Um, there's also a few companies, right? Um, and projects working with Matic that are extremely notable. This one here, um, so uh, Matic itself, right, um, released this. So they're saying interrupting the Green Blockchain Summit for some breaking news. We're excited to be the only blockchain chosen to be part of the Disney Accelerator program, right? So you can go over um, literally to the Walt Disney Company's tweet, 
go over to the particip participants announced here for their accelerator program. And if you just put in Matic, or sorry, there we go. Uh, right here, basically, right? They got a few different things. They got Flick Play, right? Which is basically a Web3 social app. They got InWorld, which allows people to make AI driven characters. They got Lockiverse, which is a Web3 platform for creators. Obsess, um, I'll just take this off here. Obsess, which is an experimental e commerce platform, right? For 3D virtual stores on websites. Polygon, right, which is a scalable blockchain network that allows developers and enterprise to build Web3 experiences. So this is their uh, gateway into the crypto space, right? And Red6 is an AR company, uh, augmented reality, right? So for basically Disney trying to get into the NFT space, AI space, aug augmented reality, reality space, I mean, they're going to do really well in that space over the long term, right? I mean, everybody wants to interact with Mickey Mouse, <laughs> some Star Wars characters, right? All sorts of stuff that they can do in their theme parks. Um, even if it was just, you know, kept into their theme parks, right? It would still be very interesting. But, you know, this is probably going to go out into a lot of other potential products over the years, right? So the fact that they are basically using Polygon as a solution here for their web three development, right? Basically to have, you know, uh, one aspect here is that since, you know, Polygon will have uh, the same essentially usage as, as Ethereum mainnet here, right? They can use a lot of Ethereum uh, related projects if they want through that, um, but they can also build new ones on top of Polygon uh, and Matic as well. So should be pretty interesting to see kind of how this goes um, here, but, you know, whatever you think of Disney, it doesn't matter. Um, they make a lot of money and that's going to bring a lot of business over to that um, blockchain, essentially. Um, let's see here. Another one here, right? So uh, this one is from One Planet NFT. 48 projects are landing on the Polygon uh, chain with One Planet. So basically um, some new NFT projects. Thanks to all the Arc One partner projects and Polygon Studios, we are moving uh, all moving together to rebuild and grow the NFT ecosystem on Polygon, right? So there's, you know, kind of like what we we're talking about with Cardano before, right? There's some decent, right, you know, eh, let's see. Yeah, nothing special there. Um, but anyways, there's some, you know, basically some NFT projects which are starting to be built. So We'll look at one thing here in terms of DeFi Llama in a second, right? But this is just nice to see that they are building, whether it's good projects or not is another question, right? Um, also talking uh, about DeFi, right? Um, basically, um, here's liquid staking solves the issue of capital that is locked across many proof of stake chains. But there's a quick overview of four major platforms that are enabled um, that have enabled Polygon uh, liquid staking, which helps you to boost your yield, right, with Matic, right? So you can do it on Lido, Balancer, uh, and a few others, right? So pretty interesting here that basically Polygon's getting more staking capability as well. So that's a lot of the news related to Polygon and Matic. So if we come over here to DeFi Llama, refresh the page.